ni neno ya kusikitisha maana mimi leo nimekuja kama kiongozi wa muungano wa azimio naona azimio wengi walinituma na risala ya rambi rambi kutoka kwa mheshimiwa Kalonzo Msioka Martha Karua Uhuru Kenyatta na kadhalika ili nije hapa nishudie yale ambayo yamefanyika hapa Shakahola tukio la Shakahola sio la Kenya peke yake ni kitu ambaye ime piga ulimwengu na botua yale ambayo yamefanyika hapa ulimwengu yote nauliza ya kitu gani imefanyika kule Kenya na mambo ambayo yamefanyika hapa sio mara ya kwanza imefanyika katika eneo zingine katika ulimwengu na tunajua vile uchunguzi aina hii hufanyika sijaona wakati wote ambayo uchunguzi hali inafanyika iwe kule Jamaica iwe kule Philippines iwe kule Jordan kama wandishi wa habari wanazuiliwa kuingia pale ambayo uchunguzi unafanyika ni mara ya kwanza kuona serikali inapiga marufuku wandishi wa habari hata wale wale kutoka ya shirika ya ya ni ya haki ya binadamu kuingia na kuona, kuona. mimi nilikuja manake mimi sitaji idhini wa wote katika taifa letu nifiki hapa na nilisema mimi nakuja haikuwa ni sikisiri na mimi nimekuja hapa askari ambaye anahusika hapa anaongea kwa njia ambaye hakuna heshima hata kidogo ati anaoshika ana amri tusiingie nikamuuliza sheria gani hiyo unasema kuna sheria ambayo imewekwa ati hapa sasa imetangazwa ni mbali ambayo ni kuna hali ya hatari alafu nikamwambia basi piga simu kwa mkubwa yako iwe ni inspector general au waziri yeye mwenyewe akatoroka nimepiga simu kwa bwana waziri bwana Kindiki Kindiki kaniambia ati oh, hapa sasa imekuwa tangazwa ni, ni hali ya ya hatari sasa hivyo sasa ni vigumu kuruhusu watu waingia lakini kuna wajumbe ambao wanakuja wakamati ile ya ya nini ya nishati ati wanakuja hapa na mimi naweza ku e, jumuika na wao tuende nao pamoja nimesubiri hapa wale wabunge wajafika mpaka hapa lakini mambo ya kusikitisha ni kuona kwamba wabunge wanaweza kuruhusiwa kuingia mimi siwezi kuruhusiwa kuingia hiyo ni madharau sana baba ni madharau kubwa sana manake wale wabunge wengi hapa ni wabunge wangu oh yes wabunge wangu mimi ndio kiongozi wao wao wanaweza kukubaliwa ati wanaingia pale lakini mimi siwezi kuingia ni kitu gani ambayo serikali inaficha hapa yale ambayo yamefanyika siku ya leo ni mambo ya madharau madharau makubwa sana na yale ambayo yamefanyika hapa maneno ya kutatanisha vile watu walikuwa naletwa hapo wanawekwa pale bila chakula mpaka wafe wengine wanapigwa na si nyundo si risasi si nini alafu wanaziko pamoja kwenye kaburi maneno ya kutatanisha lakini wale ambao wanahusika wengine wanajulikana wameonekana na mapicha wakiwa na watu viongozi wakubwa kule juu kwa hivyo wale jamaa hawezi kusimamia uchunguzi ya mambo ambayo yalifanyika hapa na kwa wao wenyewe wanajua wao wako pamoja wamekuwa wanaomba pamoja iwe ni hapo Malindi iwe ni Mombasa iwe ni Nairobi 
even na wrong kila mahali mmekuwa pamoja ameonekana kwa picha hii mambo yamefanyika hapa ni njia moja ya kujaribu sifa ya dini dini kuna viongozi wengi ambao wameingia kama dini dini ambaye hawana haja na mambo ya dini hata kwa mambo ya Mungu wao ni watu wafanye biashara wanataka kujifaidisha na biashara ya mambo ya dini lakini jamaa watu wote hawana moyo ya 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 ya, 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 ya kumcha Mungu hao watu ni wakaidi hao watu ni criminals ambao natakana washtakiwe tulisema mwaka jana tunataka tuwe na viwango vya kukagua hizi madini madhehebu tofauti tofauti ijulikane ili ipi ni halali na ili bandia wakapiga kelele kweli kweli ati wale watu wa waganga hao watu wa waganga wanataka kuzuia watu wa, 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 watu wa, 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 wa dini kuomba Mwenyezi Mungu sasa tutakuwa na rahisi katika ikulu ambayo ni mtu ambaye na mcha Mungu ale yote ni unafiki ale yote ni unafiki na sasa imeonekana dhahiri shairi ya kwamba hao watu ni yao sio mambo ya Mungu na kila jumapili wao kanisani na viongozi wa kanisa wanaoacha hao jamaa kwenda kupiga siasa ndani ya makanisa yao viongozi wa madini yetu yote wamekashifu mambo ya dini wamewaacha mambo ya dini wamewaacha kanisa inakuwa sasa ni platform ya kupiga siasa tumesema hayo yote yatakuja yatashindwa na tumesema shetani itashindwa itashindwa shindwa kabisa sasa because this is a very important matter and it is an international issue i came down here today to come and witness what has happened in shakahola what has happened in shakahola is um, something that has actually shocked not only the people of Kenya but the entire world what has happened here innocent people have been strangulated to death some of them have been suffocated some of them have been starved of food and water some of them have just been strangulated and this is something that is so heinous that is basically abhors i mean horrifies the entire world we have seen that these kind of actions cannot happen in a country where there is proper law and order the question that's being asked where were the security agencies when this kind of crime was being committed in such a magnitude where were they the now they are coming after the act they are coming now to protect graves protect dead bodies the responsibility of every government is to protect life and property of the people of the country not to protect graves now why should the government deny access to a scene like this because it's a scene of crime but the media should be allowed to move in and be able to cover what is happening in there i know this kind of thing has not happened for the first time in the world we have seen these things happening in jamaica in brazil in philippines in colombia even here in africa it has happened but the investigations have been conducted in a very transparent manner so you don't see why there should be opacity in investigating what has happened here in shakahola the only inference that can be drawn from this is that the people higher up in the government know what happened here they know baba there are people who have been seen in occasion in, in functions 
with the senior people of this government. They are people who have been masquerading as uh, uh, worshippers. People who have been all over the country. They have been seen with very senior officials talking. And they are people who have been actually engaging also in politics in the name of church. We have said before that church should not be used as a political platform. But what we have seen is that most of our churches have surrendered the jurisdiction to the politicians. You see, every Sunday, church is being used as a platform for political pontification. We have been insulted in churches, and the religious leaders are sitting there actually cheering those politicians. We've said this should not happen. And we've also said sometimes last year that there should be vetting of some of these denominations because some of them come and are not properly vetted, registered, but they're just being licenses to rob people of their wealth. Licenses to do what has happened in Shakahola. Shakahola is a shame on the conscience of the people of Kenya. It's a shame on the political leadership of this country. This should never happen. I was told that I cannot go in there, that I could only be given a guided tour accompanied by members of the Security Committee of Parliament. I said that is also a shame. I do not need to go into this place accompanied by members of parliament. So I, I, I condemn what has happened here today, and I want to say that we are not going to be deterred. We, as a Zemiu La Umoja One Kenya, will stand for the rights of the people of Kenya. Yes, and we will protect the life and property of all Kenyans. And we will deal with anybody who is actually causing harm and the lives of our people. I want to say, shame on you. Shame on, shame on you. Shame on you. And shame, shame on you. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Hmm?